Hello, I'm Emmanuel Bach. I'm back with the Two Minute Masterclass, and today I'd like to look at tempo, articulation, voicing, and instrumental tone colour in the fourth movement, Allegro Assai, from J.S. Bach's third solo sonata for violin. Right from the start, I think it's crucial that we establish a real dance-like feel to the music. And we can achieve that not only by picking a lively tempo, the music being marked allegro assai, very lively, very quick, but also by paying attention to articulation, in particular on these longer notes here. I think it's really important that we keep them crisp to achieve a sense of buoyancy and movement throughout the phrase right from the start. And we can also try and achieve the sense of a big wheel turning, keeping the music moving from one bar while, rather than one beat to the next. It's shortly after there that the interesting voicing begins. Note the way that we can bring out the lower voices as well as the upper voices. And whereas at the beginning, the high sound of the violin sounds like a bugle, the lower voices begin to sound more like a viola or a horn playing in its lower register. And that's especially relevant in this passage. Note also the way that we can use piano to create contrast and bring more character to the different colours that we find. In a later passage, we can be more like an organ playing in its sparkling upper register, and that's here. We can also use the bow to create the right tone colour by moving it closer to the bridge in the higher passages. There's one other passage which I think is of particular interest, and that's what is harmonically the lowest point in the movement where we've modulated to the relative minor of A minor. It's nice if we can move the bow slightly nearer to the fingerboard to create a slightly softer and more muted sound that reflects the modulation that we've made. That's all for today.